everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Ball. Alongside Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Tally LaForce on the sidelines. It's the Los Angeles Clippers and the Chicago Bulls. Now the opening lineup for the Los Angeles Clippers. Leonard and Batum, the duo at forward. Russell Westbrook out there with Paul George. And it's Plumley in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now here's Jordan. Fires from the line. Batum pulls it in. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. Westbrook outside. Pass to Leonard. Just five to shoot. And it's blocked. Here's Harper. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Shooting one. And the free throw, no good. George for three. Can't get it to drop. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Pass to Jordan. The three is up. Kept alive. Here's Longley. And they converted last on attempt number three. And this is something this guy takes pride in. Capitalizing on second chance opportunities. Westbrook with the miss. Despite the defensive presence, he challenges at the rim. Give him an A for effort. And stolen by Leonard. To the middle. And it goes. As the official calls the foul. Count it. And he'll shoot one more at the line. At the line for the away team. One shot. Falls for Westbrook. What we know unequivocally is the best players being your hardest workers, the guys who want to be held accountable, make such an impact on your program, and that is Russell Westbrook to a T. Here's Pippen. Pass to Jordan. 4-3. Nails it from three. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Westbrook right side. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. You know the game plan is to try to keep Russell Westbrook out of the paint. The guy is consistently there over the course of his career. Nice interior finish. Charity stripe shot. And it's Chicago with a board. Here's Pippen. Pass to Jordan. There's the triple. Leonard pulls down the board. Well, this has not been a quarter to remember for this guy. He looks completely flustered. Here's George. Rodman with a rebound. And Chicago has possession. Jordan with it. George defending. Unloads from 13. Another missed shot. He's one of five, looking shaky out there. He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter, but he's determined to stay after him. And again, no good by the Clippers. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Westbrook gets the bucket. Westbrook's got seven points in the game. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Clippers. 
with their hands resulting in plenty of steals in the early going, keeping the opposition there off balance. Another big component of their early game tonight has been points off turnovers. Great job converting on those chances. A lot. Time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. DA will join us tonight on the sideline. It's the Los Angeles Clippers and the Chicago Bulls. Here are the five for the Clippers. The wing pairing, George and Leonard. Batuma's out there with Plumley, and it's Westbrook in at the one spot. Now Pippen, after Westbrook's missed three. Pippen kicks to Jordan. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Boy, tremendous advantage on the offensive boards for Longley there. Easy putback for him. Here's Leonard. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. I caught up with Coach Phil Jackson. He's looking for his guys to put up a terrific performance tonight especially at the defensive end. He said, we want to use our length and athleticism to protect the rim, make it hard for shooters to get clean looks. This is the first meeting of the season between these two. Guys, we'll see how it comes out. Thank you, David. Obviously, they feel that's the strategy that will earn them the W. And Kevin, when you're disruptive defensively, especially early on, that can help change the complexion 
of the rest of the game. Exactly. I mean, because you're creating turnovers, getting into transition, playing in the open court against a defense that's not set, and hopefully getting some easy points at the other end. For the away team, two shots. Free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. A, a superstar who, who really kind of keeps to himself. Leonard truly leads by example in its produced titles. He's perfect from the line this time. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. To the paint. Longley with the bucket. Longley's got his second best. I've always liked the feel for the game that Scottie Pippen has. He's a dynamic passer, folks. Westbrook passes to Leonard. Fires for three. And again, it's the Clippers missing. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Jordan outside. And Jordan slams it in. A pretty artful dribbling display by Jordan there. And it completely baffled the defender. And they're bringing you up close and personal on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. George looking over the floor. Batuma screen on Jordan. The three from George. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. There they go. Finally able to drop one in on their fourth try. Outside Harper. Over Westbrook. Harper, no good. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. A nice shot by George. There's not much a defender can do when George decides to go up with the pull-up. I mean, you've got to respect both his shooting and his driving ability because of his speed on the dribble. Jordan's shot is off. Well, he wanted to return the favor there for that last three, but it just wasn't in the cards. Westbrook, no good. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. Now, here's Pippen. No good from Jordan. George with the ball. He's picked up by Pippen. And Plumley kicks to Leonard. Plumley sets the pick for Leonard. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. And punishing move there on the interior. Usually Leonard's going to get the bucket, draw the foul, or both. Taking two shots. And so he hits both. And here's Jordan. He'll bring it up for the Bulls. Trailing by two. Really crafty play that time by Jordan. Good decision. The defense was locked in on him, so he gave it away. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Passes it to Leonard. Pippen with the steal. Inside, Paul George with the steal. Outside, Batum. Yeah, clearly struggling here with the foul. Still early. And just one more will put him over the limit. Team foul. the pass to George. Shot clock at five. Locked down D. When Jordan really gets after it, his athleticism can be overwhelming. Now, here's Harper. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Jordan 
Martin. They get it back. It's good on the putback. Tremendous hustle working hard for that one. The Clippers trail. Outside, George. He kicks it to Lennon. And it's blocked. Jordan against George. Jordan's shot is off. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Westbrook dishes to Plumlee. And here's George for three. And again, no good by the Clippers. Jordan on the wing. Over Westbrook. That doesn't go either for Jordan. Well, I don't think he's performing up to his own expectations, but they still find themselves out in front. Leonard on the wing, from the corner. Rebound by the Bulls. He is zero for his last however many this quarter, guys. Might need to get him out and let him settle down a bit here. Now here's Pippen over George. Pippen with the bucket. Pippen's got his second bucket of the game to go. This is a shot Pippen is very comfortable with. He's extremely effective in the mid-range. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. Leonard and Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Boy, a wicked dunk by Leonard showing this defense just how explosive he can be. Upside Pippen and three from Jordan. The shot will not fall. So the Clippers will take it the other way. Just doing the job on the back end. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And they look strong here in the early going. And here are the Bulls now after the basket by Los Angeles. Pippen can't hit. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. And here's George for three. Outside for Batum. That ball's nice feed that time from Leonard. Batum not known for his outside shot, but I'd love to see him knock this shot down on a more consistent basis. It's Pippen on the wing. He's covered by Leonard. Jordan's shot is off. You know, he's just not taking good shots, not taking smart shots, forcing up a lot of low percentage jump there. Harper against Westbrook. Pass to Leonard. Six on the shot clock. Rodman grabs the rebound. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Pippen finds Jordan. No good again that time. Hey, I think that green light they'd given him early should probably go red now. I mean, he needs to get some other folks involved. 
Leonard with the ball. He's picked up by Pippen. The pass to Westbrook. Gets that one to fall after missing. Live coverage of this Tuesday night NBA game here on 2K Sports. Joining me tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith. I'm Brian Anderson, along with reporter Allie LaForce. It's the Los Angeles Clippers and the Chicago Bulls. So the opening lineup here for the Clippers. Leonard and Batum, the duo at forward. Paul George out there with Russell Westbrook. And it's Plumlee in at the five, roaming the paint. Batum. Second chance effort. And he makes it. You have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. And here are the Bulls now. It's a three-point game. Jordan with it. He's picked up by Westbrook. And slam dunk by Jordan. Come on now, guys. That's flat out insane. Hey, when's the last time you saw a jam like that? And that was our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, bringing you the sauce. Plumlee up top. Back to George. Plumlee, a screen on Jordan. Pass to Plumlee. Here's Batum. The three. One goes out of bounds. Last touch by Plumley. Yeah, a communication breakdown. Two guys thinking in opposite directions. The pass winds up in the stands. And the foul called on Paul George. That's his first foul of the game. That's something you hate. You're trying to come in with an aggressive mindset, and that early foul could take you right out of it. Here's Pippen. Leonard defending. Pass to Jordan. Takes a turnaround, Jay. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Good shot, gone bad. Gotta finish there. Westbrook outside. Down low. Plumley, no good. And maybe it's the adrenaline talking. But they're one for four to start this game. Need to settle down. George against Jordan. Shoots over George. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got the second bucket on the night. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Here's Pippen. And stolen by Leonard. In transition, here come the Clippers. Ooh, and Leonard throws it down. Incredible effort by Kawhi. Picks it up with the claw, then off to the races. Here's Pippen, guarded by Batum. Jordan against George. Pass to Pippen. Let's it go from deep. He drops it from range. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Now Westbrook. Leonard with the ball. Out of bounds. The Clippers will keep possession. Away team ball. About three minutes gone in the first quarter. Here's Westbrook. Soft touch off the glass. Nice job by Russ. Attacking the interior. Hunting down a high percentage look. Jordan with it. Guarded by Batum. And the foul called on Nick Batum. That's his first foul of the game. And Chicago has possession. Trailing by two. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that whistle. Third team foul. At the line for Chicago, 
First free throw is good. Two shots. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And here's Leonard. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Yikes, how did he miss that? I mean, he makes nine out of ten of those. Pass to Jordan. Here's Longley. He's checked by Plumley. They get it back. Another shot. And it's good on the layup. That's just staying in the moment, keeping with the current possession. Leonard outside. Three-pointer off the mark. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Here's Pippen. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for your bull. And the Clippers with the ball. It's a five-point game. Can they get it? Here's Leonard. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Good job inviting contact. The closer Leonard gets to the rim, the more dangerous he becomes. That free throw, no good. And he sinks the second. An offensive juggernaut and aggressive defender. Kawhi is just the total package, in my opinion. Brings a winning mindset as well. Here's Harper. Pass to Pippen. Over to the left wing. Takes a 13-footer. Tries again. Rodman, shot is good. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. Westbrook outside, from 10 feet away. It's deflected, and they get it back for three. George, nice start for him, sinking his first shot. The mechanics on Paul George's shot are so good. In the end, the range makes no difference. To the wing on the left. Fades and shoots. Offensive rebound. Big time effort on the glass. And when you have a touch that soft, those tip ins are easier to make. Here's George. And no good. Some solid defense from Jordan. Right wing. Here's Harper. He takes it in. There's the block. Pass to Longley. Over Plumley. And it's Longley missing. The Clippers trail. Leonard, right side, from outside the arc. Yes, and it's George picking up the assist. Leonard's got six. Excellent pass, PG-13, keeping his eyes up, using his vision. Here's Harper. To the wing, right side. Here's Jordan. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Six points for him. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the neck. Pass to Plumley. Leonard on the wing. Back to Plumley. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. In the pick and roll, I like confidence. Leonard showing as a facilitator. His game just continues to ascend. And out of bounds, Los Angeles will have it. So both teams changing it up here. Substitution on the court. Here's Highland. Pass to Leonard. He was too aggressive. That's already his second foul. We haven't even gotten out of the first quarter. And the Clippers making a change here. Powell's checked in. So it's the Clippers now. Trailing by two. Kicks it to George. Let's the three fly. Bearing his second of three attempts. 
A reliable jump shooter, Paul George's accuracy only goes up when he catches in rhythm. Powell with a steal. Leonard, right side. Rodman with a rebound. His struggles from the field continue, yet they still hold the lead. Pass to Kukoc. Puts up a three. It's rebounded by Zubats. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Now George. Off target from the baseline. Here's Kerr to the left wing. This one for three. Drops in the three. Way to rise to the occasion and snatch back the momentum. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. Now here's George. Six points for him. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. The defense on George a little too tight there. But to have any chance against him, you have to challenge him. The first free throw is good. Covington's checked in for the Clippers. George hits them both. Productive trip to the line. He doesn't like to leave points on the table. Here's Kerr. Pass to Bushler. Here's Kukoc. Shoots over George. Kukoc, no good. Now Los Angeles with it. Launches it. The shot that time, not on target. Here's Kerr. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Zubats. Man, he's checked in for George. The solution for the away team. Here's Kerr. Knocks down the long J. He has six. Not just a knockdown shooter, he does a great job of finding space for his shot. Zubats with it. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Island misses. It's hard not to want payback when you give up a three at the other end, but it can force you to rush things. Pass to man. Here's Highland. Back to man. And he dunks it down. <laughs> Talk about taking advantage of the opportunity. How about the anticipation right there that led to the steal? Then he goes straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. And at a certain point, you just have to look to someone else to score for you. Out to Covington. Launches a three. Can't hit that one. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Here's Bushler. Pass to Winnington. Here's Kukoc. Fade away. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Here's Powell. The shot from the low post is good. Strong move, then the soft teardrop piles a sneaky score in the lane. Chicago trailing here. Here's Kerr. He's got six. Bushler with the bucket. And boy, has this been a competitive matchup thus far. <laughs> These teams have swapped leads seven times already. And we're not even in the second half. Now here's Powell. It doesn't go for him. Minute 32 left to play in the first. Pass to Kukoc. The three is up. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. He's been off this whole period. Unable to sustain any kind of consistency. Here's Highland. Off target from outside. Grab that one. However, so far they're getting a little out hustled on the boards. Here's Kukoc. From 20 feet. Rebound by the Clippers. 
Zubats has got four rebounds in the game. Can you believe it? He's missed every shot he's taken. Yet this team still continues to hold the lead. And again, no good by the Clippers. Chicago leading. 41 seconds left in the first quarter. To the right side. Here's Kukoc. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Here's Highland. Pass to Powell. From the arc. Rebound by Bushler. Here's Kerr. He's got six. Here's Bushler. Three-pointer. The shot won't fall. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. It's the Bulls. They lead by a bucket. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. 27. Hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And guys, what's your take on the Bulls so far? Well, it's pretty obvious. I mean, cashing in on extra opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. You can do everything else right, but if you fail to take care of the defensive glass, you're killing your chances. So here are the five for the Clippers to start the second. The two-way threats of George and Leonard to the wing pair. It's Batum at the power forward with Zubats at center. And it's Westbrook in at the point. Here's Pippen. Pass to Harper. Here's Pippen, guarded by Batum. From deep, Jordan. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Zubats has got rebound number seven tonight. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Thank you, Brian. Well, Paul George has certainly endured his share of criticism in the past, but he said, quote, I can't worry about that. It comes with the job. I am who I am. They can judge me on what they want. I'm going to go out there and move and give it everything I've got. And guys, he brings a lot to the table. No question. He is elite, Ali. Thank you. At the line for Chicago, Scotty Pippen. And he makes a first. That one falls, so he hits both of them. The Clippers trail. Westbrook outside. Pass to Leonard. Back to Westbrook. Six to shoot. From deep three-point range. Not going to go that time. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Here's Pippen. Give him eight. From deep, Jordan. Westbrook with the rebound. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Here's Chicago now. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Jordan against George. The Bulls with another miss. Up top, Batum. Shoots from 12. Off the left rim and out. And it's the Bulls with the ball. They lead by four. To the left side wing. Jordan against Westbrook. The Bulls with another miss. Jordan's gone three of nine tonight from the field. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Oh, ripped away. Going to get back on track. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to go on Paul George. At the line for Chicago. And the first one at the line is good. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. And the Clippers making a change here. Plumlee's checked in. And both free throws good for Jordan. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. 
Westbrook outside. No good on the triple. Chicago with the ball. They lead by six. That's their biggest margin. Pass to Longley. Here's Pippen. Out to the right wing. Jordan up top. Leonard defending. Five to shoot. From 20 feet. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got 10. We haven't seen many buckets like that one. These teams have struggled to dial in their shooting. You have to give credit to the defenses protecting the rim. Closing out hard. This one's been a grind. Ooh, stolen by Westbrook. Throws it up high. This speaks to Westbrook's high level of awareness. Understands when one of his guys is wide open. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Pass to Jordan. To the paint. Here's Longley. Nice work on the boards. Paying off for the basket. Six points for him. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. Westbrook, the pass to Leonard. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Now here's Jordan. Ten points for him. Inside. Over Leonard. Jordan misses. Jordan's gone just four for 11 from the field. Batum, pass to Leonard. Batum with a screen on Jordan. Leonard for three. No good there. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Now Jordan. Pass to Pippen. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Leonard passes to Westbrook. Fires the three. This is again two for eight in this matchup. And he just hasn't been able to get it going this period. And you've seen they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. The first one falls. After having no trips to the free throw line in the first period, he's being much more aggressive now. And both free throws good for Jordan. Ten points separating these teams. The Clippers call timeout. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. from 14. That one is off. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. To the inside. Here's Rodman. Powered down after the assist. Let him to the lane. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. It's a backbreaker for your defense, giving up easy buckets like that. And here's Westbrook from the arc. He buries it from three. Westbrook's got seven. Be careful. When Westbrook is knocking down those consistently, watch out. Because that means there's nothing he can't do. George with it. Jordan picks him up. Leonard passes to George. That three's off the mark. Well, he was in rhythm, hitting two threes in the opening quarter. But hasn't made one since. Pass to Pippen. Here's Harper, pounded by Westbrook. And that's his third foul. The chance you take leaving him in with two. Let's see if they'll sit him now until the half. Norman Powell, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Highland comes in for Westbrook. Here's Highland, looking for his first basket still in this one. Powell outside. Batum with a screen on Jordan. Here's Powell. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. 
A part of this team's toughness comes from Norman Powell. Unafraid to stick his nose in there. Covington's checked in for Los Angeles. And so Powell nails them both. Chicago leading. Pass to Pippen. Here's Kerr. Fires the three. Counted from distance. He's got nine. Beautiful ball movement. Drawing kick. The defense can't catch up. Here's Plumley. Now here's Powell. Inside. Here's Highland. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Man, he's checked in for Paul George. Good on the second one. And as the NBA becomes an increasingly global game, Grant, there's a component of international relations that has to come into it. What are your thoughts about this? Well, it could be tricky. I mean, it's a challenge. You have to respect people's cultures and way of doing business. But yes, the game, I believe, also can play a role in bringing cultures and, and different countries together over the love of the game of basketball. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Here's Kerr. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And the Bulls lead by 11. And I respect the strategy. Despite the sizable lead, you got to stay in attack mode. You want to stay aggressive right at the rim, driving another nail into the coffin. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And the Clippers have possession. Here's Highland. It's hauled in by Winnington. Here's Kukoc. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Team five. No good on that one. The line for your goals, Scotty Pippen. Shooting two. That's off as well, so he misses both. And here are the Clippers now. 11-point game. Here's Mann. Powell outside. Picked by Covington. With a step back. Chicago grabs the miss. Pass to Pippen. Here's Kukoc. is the glass on the layup. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Now Los Angeles with it. Trailing by 13. Here's Highland. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. First one falls for him. So it's both teams making substitutions here. He's perfect from the line this time. And so here is Chicago. Out to the wing. Here's Kukoc. And the Bulls tack on two more. You really have to question the defensive effort on that possession. They are getting bared tonight with plays like that one. Allowing too much space for a good shooter. Here's Mann. And the Clippers miss again. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. There's the drive. And Kerr gets it to go. <laughs> they have no answer defensively inside. It's been a devastating night for them. Nothing has come easy, Grant. Nothing indeed. Even when they've tried to make adjustments, it just hasn't worked. For three, Covington. Rebound by Bushler. Chicago with the ball. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. It's at 15 points. The three ball. It's rebounded by Zubats. Zubats has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Powell outside. Zubats, screen. And it's Powell off the drive. That one's off. He's one for six. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. Here's Kukoc. 
Out of bounds. It'll go to the Clippers. The ball goes to the team. Substitution for your Bulls. Dickie Simpkins. Here's Highland. Pass to Zubats. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. The officials were right on top of that one. First personal foul. Fifteen foul. And he drops the first. At the line for two. So one for two that time at the stripe. Here's Kerr. He's got 13. Pass to Jordan. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. First personal foul. And here's a look at what's coming up for the Los Angeles Clippers. On Friday, they'll kick off a homestand, starting with the Portland Trailblazers. Then on Saturday, they kick off a road trip to New York, where they'll take on the Knicks. And he knocks down the first one. And both free throws good for Jordan. 146 left to play in the second quarter. Who poked away? Outside Covington. Back to man. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Man's got his second basket of the game. Man's gotten two of his three shots to go tonight. Pass to Kukoc. Fires for three. The Clippers grab the miss. I'll tell you what, he's been off target all night, and his teammates have had to rally. Powell for three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Powell's got five points now in the quarter. Off the catch. Norman Powell is quick to move the ball into his shot pocket. There's 53 seconds left in the second quarter. They're looking to trim the deficit to single digits. That one's off. Along for the away team. Taking two shots. And the second free throw is good. There's 42 seconds left to play in the first half. The 11-footer, and he gets that one. Jordan's got 16 points. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why, they've stayed aggressive, and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Coming off a scoreless first quarter, he's found a little rhythm here. to Kerr, takes a three, knocks it down from distance. He's got 16. He's been so aggressive on offense, and with the results, you understand why. You know why? Success breeds confidence, and he's certainly been successful from there, time and time again. And so it's Chicago, now holding a 12-point lead at quarter's end. They've done a great job containing Westbrook. And with his explosiveness, that is not an easy task. We'll be right back with you shortly. Hello, everybody. Maybe a bit of a surprise in this one, but what a fantastic first half we witnessed for the Chicago Bulls. Well, just my unbiased opinion as someone who averaged a double, double. If you control the glass, you control the game. That's what they're doing right now. Uh, hold on. So, so you're reminding us of your numbers? Stunning. No, I was just, you know, just trying to tell you that 45, 22, and six blocks average. Now let's take a moment and see what games still lie ahead. For the Wizards, they'll be up against the Supersonics out in Seattle. 
That one gets going 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific. It's one to watch, kind of a heavyweight matchup. That's my favorite. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be...